Okay, so see if you can figure out the formal charge on each of the atoms of this molecule. So press pause, work on it yourself, and when you're ready, press play. Okay, so hopefully you've had a chance to work on this by yourself. We're gonna look at each of the atoms in turn, and we need to know the number of bonding electrons and the number of non-bonding electrons. So let's just make a list uh, bonding electrons for one and then non bonding electrons for the other. Okay, and maybe we start just by looking at the hydrogens. Okay, look at the hydrogen. Now, hydrogen has a maximum of two electrons around it, and if you look, this is actually fulfilled by this bond between the hydrogen and the carbon. So there's two bonding electrons between the hydrogen and the carbon. And there's no lone pairs or anything else attached to the hydrogen because that would break its, uh, uh, that would be greater than its va uh, open available orbitals. Uh, so there's no bond non bonding electrons around the hydrogen. So we can use this to fl plug into our formal charge formula. In free neutral hydrogen, there is one valence electron, right? It's the lightest, lightest element of all, one valence electron. And now we're going to subtract half the number of bonding electrons, which is. Two. So one half times two is, gives us one, and there's no bonding electrons, okay, none. So one minus one minus zero gives us an answer of zero. So the charge on that hydrogen is zero. And I think if you look closely, you'll see that the charges for each of these hydrogens is also zero. Um, by applying the exact same type of calculation, you can get that answer yourself. And uh, now we can look at the carbon. Okay, so none of the hydrogens have charges on them, but we can look at the carbon and see, see if this has a charge on it. So number of bonding electrons around carbon, well, we've got four bonds, okay, and four times two is equal to eight. And we don't have any lone pairs around the carbon, so there's no non-bonding electrons. So for the calculation for carbon is a little different because we have uh, number of valence electrons and free neutral atom of carbon is equal to four. Uh, not one like it was for hydrogen. So four minus one half times the number of bonding electrons. So that's eight. So one half times eight gives us four. And a little shortcut, just note that uh, if we just counted the number of bonds around carbon, we'd get the same answer. So that could help to speed things up for you. There's no non-bonding electrons. So four minus four minus zero gives us a charge in total of zero. So the charge on our carbon is also zero. Let's then move over one. Let's look at this nitrogen, see what the charge is on nitrogen. So number of bonding electrons around nitrogen, we've got one, two, three, four bonds, and each bond has, has two electrons, right? So that's eight. There's no lone pairs or anything on the, nit on the nitrogen itself, so that's zero. Uh, now we should rub this stuff out here. Okay, how many valence electrons in free neutral nitrogen? Well, it should be five. Five, it's one over from carbon, right? One column over from carbon. And then we take half the number of bonding electrons. Well, there's eight bonding electrons, so eight times one half is gonna give us four. Now, again, we get the same answer if you just count the number of bonds, four, there's four bonds. And the number of non-bonding electrons is zero. So five minus four minus zero, that gives us plus one, plus one. And you could alternatively just write plus. Okay, that's fine. Good. So let's look at the oxygen, this oxygen over here. Uh, same questions, let's rub some of this stuff out. So number of bonding electrons is, well, just two, right? So a bond between oxygen and nitrogen. Number of non-bonding electrons is six. So let's do the math on the calculation at the bottom here. Number of valence electrons in free neutral atom of oxygen, well, that should be six, right? It's one over from nitrogen, so it even has one more electron than nitrogen does. And minus one half times the number of bonding electrons, one half times two gives us one. Again, same answer if you just count the number of bonds. Minus the number of non-bonding electrons, which is six. So six minus one minus six, that gives us, it's the same as six minus seven, which is minus one, or just a negative charge. Great. Okay, last one. So actually I could have kept that six there because we're still dealing with oxygen, but 
uh, we should just point up to here. So this oxygen has four bonding electrons. It's bonded to two, has two bonds to nitrogen, so a total of four. And it has four non-bonding electrons, so two lone pairs. So the number of valence electrons in free neutral oxygen is six. Six minus one half times four is gonna be two. Again, just count the number of bonds, same answer. Minus four, so six minus two minus four gives you zero. So this oxygen is actually not charged. All right, so all we have is a charged nitrogen and a charged oxygen. Overall, if you want to count the charges on the molecule overall, well, a whole bunch of zeros over here on the left, so a lot of zeros, but we just have plus one, minus one. If you add those together, they cancel. So overall charge on this molecule is zero. And um, if you want, if you're curious what this molecule is, it's called nitromethane. Nitromethane. Uh, so that's the formal charge for this molecule.